Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the cross-functional flowchart to create a project schedule. Now there are project scheduling features in Visio where you can create a Gantt chart and a network diagram, but I want to show you how you can use the cross-functional flowchart to achieve a similar thing. Now I'm on the home tab and you can see here because I've recently used it it's there the one I want cross-functional flowchart so I'll just double click on that which will bounce through the wizard and create a blank cross-functional flowchart. So you have functions which normally would maybe put that as admin, training, finance but I'm going to do this as weeks so I want to put some extra swim lines in so I'll just put a couple so I'll just have four weeks for this little example, you'll get the idea. And you can just double click on these and type week one, for example, and then next one down, week two. Just quickly type those in. So I've named those. Just double click on that one again, just to backspace that off. And then the title can be weekly planner. That's the title at the top. Now, in this stencil, you've got cross-functional flowchart shapes, which is what I'm using there. You've got this separator option. You can drag that on there if you want. And then you've got the basic flowchart shapes. And again, if you start a, pro a project, you would start off with the start icon, which I'll just put in there for week one. And then you can just type in there start or whatever you want to call it. Now what I've got on the screen on the right hand side, I'll just bring this across a little bit, you've got shape data, which for this particular flowchart you've got some preset options there, status being one of them where you've got a drop down arrow and it gives you whether this is started or in progress or completed or whatever. Now you can edit this shape data for any of these shapes, I'm not going to change it for the start one because none of this is really relevant but for the next one what I want to do is just edit this process one and then I'm going to put this process one into my own stencil which I'll create in a second so to edit this list you need to basically right click go into data and define shape data and then get rid of the ones that you don't want so I don't want owner so I'll delete that I don't want function I'll delete that I'll leave the start and end date on there, cost is on there, and status. Now I want to move this up, so I'm going to put a sort key of 1 for status. So that's going to be the first item in the list, so it's going to be the top of this list. Then I want cost to be second, so cost I'll put a sort key of 2 for that. And then start date can be 3 and end date can be 4, I'm not bothered about anything else, click OK to that, now that has changed this list, um, process number I'm not too fussed about either, uh, I might just get rid of that as well, so go back into define shape data, get rid of the process number, delete, OK, so that's now how I want this, I also want to have a data graphic on this, so I'm doing all this, I'm editing all this shape so I can put this into my stencil which I'll open in a second and then I'll pull it back in from that stencil so it was already be done. Now if I go up to the data tab, I'll just double click on that to open this up. You've got data graphics, this area is data graphics and then you've got advanced data graphics there. So if I click on this one, there's no data graphics at the moment. So create new data graphic. What I want to do is new item and you select the field that you want. So I want the status field and I want to pick how that's going to be. I want an icon set and then you've got these options here. So this is all the different symbols you could have. So a little traffic light symbol or a ticky box is like it's on now. I do fancy this little traffic light option. So you've got equals on these options here and then you can select the options from the actual list so you've got values in there so the values from the status is things like um, complete 
So I'll put complete and then pending and then not started. There's another option there. And I'll just click OK to that and then OK again. Yes, I do want to apply it to that. Now I just want to check on this status drop down that I did get that right. Not started, um, completed and in progress. So I do need to edit that data graphic. So click on the data graphic, edit this one and edit the item again. So it's not pending. That's not started, that's right in progress this was so in progress and completed with a d so i'll just leave it like that okay apply okay now at the moment there's nothing in there but let's just to test this if i put in progress i get the little symbol there so that's that's working fine click back up the top there it disappears so everything's how I want it to be. Now what I need to do is open a stencil or create a new stencil. So I'll just create a new one. I'll go new stencil metric. And then you can drag the shape in there. Give it a name. And I'll just call this planning. So that's called planning. And then I'll save it. And then you can give your stencil a name, which I'll call Planner. It's in with all my other stencils. So that's sorted out now. So when I bring this shape on, it's already going to have the correct data every time I bring one of these on. So if I bring it on from the default set, it will not have the, the correct information in. So there's the week one. And there's that shape. Now, if I delete that for a second, so I'm not going to use these arrows that you can see that pop up because that would be the default one. But what I am going to do is go back to home, put the connector tool on. So when I do drag this in, it should connect up automatically. Just line it up and it will connect up. Except it hasn't connected up. So I'll do that again because I need to have this active. Click on the connector tool. Drag that on, it should connect up. There we go, it does connect up. And I need to take that off if you're going to type anything in there. So I'm just going to type phase one for this one. So this is happening in week one. So click away from that. I just want to add another one on. So I'm going to click on the connector tool. This one's selected. So I'll drag this one on, planning, and it should snap in place and connect up. And then I can do phase one review and then take that off a minute so there, there it goes now that's week one let's say and I want to come down into week two so what I'm going to do now is make sure I've got that clicked put the connector tool back on you can leave it on if you want and type phase two and I want to come across and do the same sort of thing and then just build this up. So I'll just add a few extra shapes and just pause this for a second. So I've added some extra tasks, as you can see there, so it's bringing it down into each week. So it's like a little mini Gantt chart. But what you've got now is the ability to start updating these. So the shape data, so this can be, let's say this is completed. So that gets a green. Uh, we can put a cost in there. I'll say that's two thousand pounds to do that and then start date whatever start date you want to put in there you've got like a drop down box at the end there so you can put a date in there and then it's in this week so I'll go let's say it's a two day task it's on week one now so that function is is the name of this so if I come to this I'll go complete and this is a review so this is completed as well cost for review was one thousand pounds started on the 16th and finished on the 16th and so on and then i'll come down to week two 
and I'll just say this is in progress so we get a different color coming up in progress uh, that's not in progress this one in fact these ones are not started so status not started so that gets a red box and this gets a red box as well so I'll just go through the rest of these and say not started so remember you can change any of these these are totally customizable you don't have to accept the default options but I always recommend that you do edit one shape and then create your own stencil so you can just pull it on and you're not repeating yourself and remember also you can then generate reports based on this information but that's all I want to talk about in this little video how you can use the cross-functional flowchart template to create yourself a project plan and use the time scale of your choice so I've used weeks you could have months you could have years you could use the separator to come across the top and do weeks it's totally up to you but hopefully it's of use it's give you a few ideas thank you for your time I'll catch you in the next one